gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Miss Breanne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Breanne. In this series, I provide brief talks on the current graphic novels and easy readers that the library has to offer in our library in hopes that we encourage you to visit us and check out these awesome books for yourself. In today's book talk, we're going to go back to a very classic easy reader series. Now this series, which began around 50 years ago, involves two animal friends who are so alike and yet so different. Now meet these two lovable characters, Frog and Toad, in the classic Frog and Toad series. And I have the first two books right here. Now this series is written and illustrated by Arnold Lobel and is published by HarperCollins Publishers. Now, the first book that I would like to talk about today in the series is called Frog and Toad Are Friends. Now, this book has different stories about the friendship of these two similar animals and they have many different adventures together. Whether it includes swimming in the pond or thinking of stories to tell each other or trying, even trying to search for a missing button. No matter what it is, you know that something interesting will happen. Now the second book that I would like to mention is called Frog and Toad Together. Now the book ha this book has even more stories about the adventures of Frog and Toad, which includes trying not to eat too many cookies, planting a garden, and even having a nightmare or two. Now, in general, this is a very good series. It provides simple stories about friendship, as well as the adventures friends have and the nice things they can do for each other. And I really like the fact that rather than it be one big story, there's small, short stories in the books that kids can read. And it gives them a sense of accomplishment when they finish a story, and they know it's, it's going to be a quick story, and, and it helps reduce fatigue. Now, it is a little, they are a little outdated, but they are still cute stories that the family can enjoy. And overall, I rate this series 4 out of 5 stars, and I highly recommend it for first and second graders who are pretty much reading well on their own for the most part, but may need a little bit of help with more challenging words from time to time. This is Miss Brienne, and thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you next week.